Okay, another short video on Albert Rodeo and how to use some features such as Fog of War and hiding some of the assets like tokens and such. So, what I've done here is I've got uh, this map which I got from Two Minute Tabletop, uh, one of their free maps that they offer there, some great stuff there. And what I want to do is I want to build an area where the player characters can see uh, where they're standing but not look into the rooms. I want to hide the rooms. So what I did was I shared this out with myself by using this uh, link here. And so I have one instance of it here and my other instance of it is here. So both these look the same at the moment. I will make some fog by clicking that button and going over the rectangle tool and selecting the areas where I don't want the players to see. And what you'll notice is once I've done this and I go back to the map, they're, they're blacked in so you can't see them. So say my barbarian is about here, there's my barbarian, and oops, I didn't want to do that. Um, I can move my barbarian around, the player can do this, but can't move them into rooms which they, they can't see. So let's leave the barbarian there. Furthermore, I want to have some hidden monsters. So I'll grab some goblin tokens and just pull them out onto the floor here. One, two, three goblins. Another neat feature is I can take these goblins and I can actually make them a little bit unique by changing the outer rim on them so that they're different colors. So when it comes to combat, it makes it easier to see. So looking back at my player map, I see them, I see them. Now, what I can do though, is I can take these guys and hide them. One, two, I'll hide two for now so you can see this. Two are missing, one is there. All three now are hidden and I can put them in the room. So there's one on that bunk bed, oopsies, um, one on that bunk bed, and we'll put one on that bunk bed. So the player might say, I want to go into this door here. The dungeon master says, no problem, takes the character, moves them into the room, and now I can reveal uh, some of this room. So I'll now use my fog removing tool, and I'll select the area I want the player to be able to see, and there we go. But notice that when I go into this, the player doesn't see the goblins. The goblins are hidden. So that might represent the goblins having a, a very high stealth uh, role. So they're hidden, or at least higher than the player's passive perception. So the player walks in there, then all of a sudden the goblins are revealed. One, two, and three. And now we can roll for initiative. Anyway, hopefully that helps.